Hi guys, this is Lakshya from Simply Learn. Welcome to this tutorial on Java strings. This is a part of our Java tutorial series where we will be covering everything you need to know to master Java. Let us look at what we will cover today. First, we'll see what strings are in Java. Then how to create, define and declare strings. Then operations that can be done on strings. Some inbuilt methods in string class. And finally, we'll do two main programs to understand the working of Java strings. So, let's get started. Let's see what strings are and how we can use strings in Java. Java strings are objects that contains groups of characters. Like arrays, strings are immutable as well. Immutable means once string is created, they cannot be changed or manipulated. If we use a string hello, they are stored in a memory location like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are the addresses of the locations where each character of the string is stored. Now let's move on to creating strings. There are two methods of creating string, string literal method and using new operator. This is the syntax of string on the screen. First string type, then variable name is equal to sequence of characters in double quotes. This is called as string literal method. For new operator method, we use new operator and value of string is given in the brackets. Now let's see a simple program to understand the use of strings with Java code. Let's create a new project, file new project next tick the box next i'm gonna name it as strings and for the base package i'm gonna name it as string as well because all the programs i'm gonna do in this package for strings we have our main program right here the main class now before importing the strings we need to import some pre-processive directives so for this for this i'm gonna import java dot io input output dot star star means everything inside the directive and i'm gonna import java dot lang dot star this means i can do all the operations that is needed for strings so there are two ways to declare string this is the first one string s is equal to simply learn now we have a string s and it contains the value simply learn now i'm gonna print this system dot out dot print ln plus s or i'm gonna name it as string i'll print string first is equal to and then i'm gonna print this so double quotes string is equal to and plus s so let's run this program and there we go we have string is equal to simply learn so it took the value of s and printed that so let's see the next type of string how we can declare the string the str is equal to new string simply learn so this is the second method how we can declare a string or assign the values to string so to print it i'm going to use string2 is equal to and then plus str so let's execute this as well and as you can see we have string2 is equal to simply learn as well so this means both the methods are to declare strings or to assign values to the strings so you can use any of them i prefer using first so it's easy that's why you don't need to write new and string so let's move on to the new topic classes and strings we all know that strings are immutable now what if we want to change something inside the string then we use these methods to manipulate strings in java first one is string builder the string builder in java represents a mutable sequence of characters it is an alternative to string class as it creates a mutable sequence of characters. Next is string buffer. String represents fixed length immutable characters of sequences. While string buffer represents growable and writable character sequences. It will automatically grow to make room for additions like appending, inserting and deleting. Next we have string tokenizer. A string tokenizer object internally maintains a current position within the string to be tokenized. Some operations advance this current position past the characters processed. String tokenizer class in Java is used to break a string into tokens. A token is returned by taking a substring of the string that was used to create the string tokenizer object. Now let's see different methods for functions that can be done on strings in Java. We have lot of methods or functions in strings. These are few of the methods that are used by programmers frequently and we will be using in this series of our Java tutorial. 
First one we have int length that returns length of the string. Second we have string substring int begin index that returns the substring for given begin index. Next we have boolean is empty that checks if the string is empty or not. Next we have string concat string str that concatenates the specified string. Next we have string split string rejects returns a split string matching rejects. Next we have int index of int ch that returns a split string matching rejects. Next we have string to lower case and string to upper case. These are mostly used when we want to convert a string into a upper case or into a lower case. Next we have string trim that removes beginning and ending spaces of the string. If we have any beginning or end spaces that may not be required for our string then we use this. Next we have static string value of int value. This method converts given type of into string. It is an overloaded method. And lastly we have string replace character old and character new. It replaces all the occurrences of the specified character value. Next let's have a look at a program where we are going to reverse a string and compare to string. This is going to be an interesting program and you will be able to understand string a lot better. So let's get started. So first we'll see how to compare two strings and then we'll see how to reverse a string. So let's create a new project. File, new project. Let's click on next, tick the box, next. I'm going to name it as compare and reverse because I'm going to do both the programs in the same program. And we have our main function here. To use some classes or to use some methods, we need to import some of the strings from java so i'm going to import strings dot compare compare dot string compare so let's write our code here so i'm going to use four strings first string s1 is equal to then i'm going to use new string and i'm inside it i'm going to name the string as simply learn s capital and for the next string, string s2 is equal to new string. Uh, let's give it as practice. For the third string, s3, new string. Let's give it as study. And for the fourth, fourth string, we are going to match the third string to show all the outputs that's possible. Study. Now we are going to display some output using the function equals. So what equals does is it, it compare two strings. So first I'm going to use it, make it as user friendly by writing comparing string one and then comparing string two and then semicolon so that everything will be separated. You can easily find out what the result will be. And then this is the main part s1 dot equals and in the bracket s2 because we are comparing s1 and s2. So s1 dot equals s2. So this function automatically checks whether s1 is equal to s2. Now same thing we are going to do with string s3 and string s4. Again this user friendly s3 and s4 semicolon s3 dot equals s4. We, have, we know that s1 is not equal to s2 but s3 is definitely equal to s4. So let's try it with one more sentence so that we can compare one more string. So I'm going to compare S1 and S4. So I'll copy paste it and instead of S3, I'll write S1 and same I'll do with S1 dot equals S4. So let's run this program. Oh, before running, we have an error here. So I'm going to delete that import because we have not used it. So now let's run the program and yes, we have a result comparing simply learn and practice is false. That's definitely false. Study and study both strings are matching so it's true and simply learn and study they don't match that's why it's false. So let's get started with our second program that's reversing a string. So I'm going to delete everything from here and I'm going to write same code here only. So first I need to assign a variable of string string input equals I'll name it as simply learn and this is the main part guys we use string builder. Because the string is immutable and as we discussed earlier, string builder allows us to do manipulation. So I'll use one more variable input1 and new string builder. 
so in input 1 we can do any manipulation that we require so first i'm gonna do input 1 dot dot append so that i can do operations that i want on it either reversing or deleting or concat so i'll take append of input and lastly input 1 is equal to input 1 dot reverse this function reverse the string that is there in input 1 now to print the value of the reverse string the reverse string is and then input 1 so here's the catch guys we have to use string builder so that we can do manipulations in, inside the string if we don't use string builder then we will get an error that unable to manipulate the string or unable to reverse the string so string builder is the main thing here so that we can do all the operations that we want either reversing or concat or uh, deleting anything from the string or deleting an element or adding anything to the string so all that happens because of string builder so now let's run this program and there we go we have our result the reverse string is the reverse of simply learn now let's try it with something that is palindrome so we have our language malayalam if we reverse this we'll get malayalam so this is kind of palindrome string and see the result the reverse string is also malayalam so this is how you reverse a string so this brings us to the end of this video we learnt about strings the functions for strings and the methods we use in strings and lastly we learn how to compare two strings and how to reverse two strings i hope you like this video thank you for watching stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.